Hi all, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, we will learn about NumPy arrays in Python. So there will be a series of videos on NumPy array because there are many things to cover within NumPy. So let's get started. What do we mean by NumPy arrays? Uh, you can think of NumPy arrays as a grid of elements, grid of elements, all of same type. So when I say all of same type, the data type of each individual element must be same. We cannot have heterogeneous collection of elements as we have seen in list. Okay. So how we can create a NumPy array? I will show you with a simple example. So before working with NumPy arrays, I have to import the package NumPy and I will be importing it as NP. So NP is just an alias. You can give any other alias if you are comfortable with it. Okay. So I have imported NumPy as NP. Let's say I want to create a simple NumPy array and name it as ARR1. I should do is all I should do is np dot array. I have to say to the Python kernel that I am creating a NumPy array, and the elements within it will be one, two, three, four. Okay, so this is as simple as it. If I check error one, it says it's an array and it displays the available elements within it. Okay, so if you check the type of arr one, it will say NumPy nd array. So ND array, in ND array, ND stand for N dimensional, okay. So as you can see, it has only four elements in a, as a form of a list in the NumPy array, right. So this is called as one dimensional array. So how you can check the number of dimensions in any NumPy array? You just have to, you have to say the variable name dot NDIM, okay, N dimension. So it will give us the dimension of the NumPy array. As you can see, this NumPy array ARR1 is of dimension 1. Okay. So this is how you create a one dimensional NumPy array. Likewise, there is something called as shape. Okay. Shape will generally be useful while checking multidimensional arrays. When I say multidimensional arrays, there can be two dimensions. For two dimensions, you can think of a mathematical matrix which will have rows and columns right so that will be an example of two dimensional array, array there can be three dimensional array as well you can for three dimensional array you can think a cube which is, which will be of three dimension it will have height width and depth right so that will be an example of three dimensional arrays like this we can have any number of dimensions that's why we generalize it as saying n d array n stands for number of dimensions it can be 1 2 3 4 5 and so on so shape will be generally useful in order to check the multidimensional arrays shape so if i execute arr1 dot shape it will say 4 comma there is nothing after comma okay but the dimension is 1 since there is nothing after comma this this is also called as rank 0 array, but since we have elements as one dimension, the dimension will be 1. Okay, So this is how you check the shape of any NumPy array. It can be of any dimension. If you just execute this variable name dot shape, it will give us the available dimensions in that particular array. Okay, So this is about how to create a simple NumPy array, one dimensional NumPy array, and how you can check the number of dimensions and how you can check the shape. You can also check the elements present in it length of ARR1, it will return as 4 because we have 4 elements in it. Okay. So let's see how we can access individual elements of this NumPy array. So just like in lists we have seen, if I say ARR1 of 0, it will return me the element at 0th index, which is 1. If I say ARR of 1, it will return me an element at 1st index, which is so likewise, if I say error 1 of minus 1, it will say 4 because minus 1 tells the Python kernel to fetch the last element. Okay, minus 1 at the last position we have element as 4. So that's why it is returning as 4. This is how we can access individual elements. But how we can access some group of elements? Let's say I want to access first 2 or 3 elements, right? So in this case, I can say 0, 2. You can see 0, 1, 2. 0th index, 1st index, 2nd index. It returned me zero elements at 0th and 1st index. 0th and 1st index, which are 1 and 2. But it excluded the 
second index. Okay, at zeroth index we have one, first index we have two, second index we have three. Okay, second index is excluded here because the first thing that we give is the start index that is inclusive. The ending index will be excluded. Excluded. Okay, so that is exclusive. That's the reason we receive only the elements at zeroth and first position as we have given two as the end index. So this is how we can access individual elements and group of individual elements within an array. And we have already seen about shape and end array and dimensions. Now let us see the basic differences between lists and numpy array. So let me create two lists here. Okay. I will name it as list 1 is equal to 1, 2, 3 and list 2 is equal to 4, 5, 6. So I have two lists here, right? Now if I say list 1 plus list 2, it will give me a concatenated list, a concatenated list of these two lists, okay? So the elements will be concatenated together and it will return me a new list. Now similarly, if I do the same thing with numpy arrays, what happens? I have already my ARR1 and elements are 1, 2, 3, 4. Let me create another numpy array, ARR2 array and let me say 5, 6, 7, 8. So these are my elements in ARR2. Let's see what happens if I say ARR1 plus ARR2. You see the operation, arithmetic operation that is addition happened on each element of both the arrays. That is any arithmetic operator that we use between two numpy arrays will be acted on elements. It will not be concatenated. That arithmetic operation will be applied element wise. So when I say element wise, you will see the first element 1 and 5 from both arrays are added together to give us the result as 6. Likewise, the second, third, fourth element respectively from both the arrays are added and returned as a new list, new array with elements 6, 8, 10 and 12. Okay, so this is another array. This concatenation operator or any other arithmetic operator will return, will return us a new array. It, the original arrays will not be affected. Okay, so please uh, be clear in your mind about this. So this is one of the difference between numpy array and list. Now let's say I am creating another array, another numpy array and I am including some numbers in it, 2, 3. And let's say I am including Shankar, which is a type string. If I execute it and then check the elements, you see all the integers, all the numbers are enclosed within quotes. Why? Because Shankar is a string. This string cannot be converted into any of the numerical types available. Correct? We have integer elements here and the last element is Shankar, which is of type string. Since we cannot convert 1, 2, 3 to, since we cannot convert Shankar to integer type, it's easy to convert and it is possible to convert the numerical type to integer just by enclosing quotes around it. So that's what NumPy did here. So you see all the elements are encoded within quotes including the numbers, right? So if you check here are 3 of 0, it will turn as a string 1, okay? Now, to be sure about the type, you can just check type of ARR3 of 0. So, it will say string here. str stands for string. And this is within numpy array, numpy.str. str stands for string. Okay. So, this is another difference between list and numpy array. So, in list, what we can do? We can have multiple elements of heterogeneous types. Right? Let's say 1, 2, 3, 4. And I can even have some string. I can even have some complex numbers, right? So like this we can have. Now if I check list 3, the elements will be unaffected. It will be, when I say unaffected, the elements will retain the type same as of, uh, same as of at the time of creation, right? 1, 2, 3, 4 were numbers. They are retained as numbers. Shankar was a string. They are, it is retained as a string. 4 plus 7j is a complex number. It is retained as a complex number. So, lists can have heterogeneous elements, but numpy arrays cannot have heterogeneous elements. So, what numpy stands for? Numpy is, uh, numpy stands for numerical python, okay, numerical python array. Array is a collection of elements, right? So, it's a collection of numerical elements. 
So generally, NumPy is designed to hold numerical elements, not necessarily only integers. Any numerical elements NumPy arrays can hold. It can be either fold, float, or integer, or any other numerical types. Okay, so that's what NumPy array stands for. So hope till now these concepts are clear to you guys. So this is how a basic NumPy array can be created, how elements can be accessed, okay, and the basic difference between lists and NumPy arrays. There are many things to cover in NumPy array. If you just check ARR1 dot and it tab, it will give us all the available methods. So we have nearly 70 methods if I am not wrong, 70 or 71 methods. So we will see how much we can cover. I will try to cover most of the things which are widely used uh, in our daily lives. Okay. So please stay tuned for my next videos. Uh, till then, happy learning. Bye bye.